Welcome to another video blog. It's been uh, three weeks since my last blog and I think the most important thing that's happened since then is that I am in Europe and wearing my Australian champion Wiggle Honda DHE jersey. Um, so here it is. <laughs> I've just come back from a recovery ride and I've left Jared out there to do some extras to get him fit. Um, so a fair bit's happened. Obviously, um, the day before we came overseas, I raced our local Bendigo Epic 50 kilometers. Um, I got fifth overall there, which was a nice indication of some good form. Jared beat me, he got fourth. <laughs> uh, but I was able to check a couple of the local guys, so that was a bit of a highlight before we came over. Uh, we obviously had a really long travel um, time. We, we pretty much traveled flat out for three days. We had to detour through um, Belgium to pick up our Honda Civic, which we'll be driving for the season, which is um, going to make life so much easier for us. Um, most of our races we drive to around Europe, we, we're pretty central where we're based in Solothurn this year in Switzerland. But, uh, but this last week we have been in Germany, about one hour east of Stuttgart um, in Konigsbronn, which is just outside of Hubach for uh, my first European mountain bike race of the year, um, Bike the Rock. So I did Bike the Rock last year and I got ninth and, and had some pretty good form. I'd, I'd done a couple of cross country races before it and I was really happy with ninth. And, and the course is it's four and a half K, it, it's straight up, straight down. And although it doesn't really suit me, I actually really enjoy it. And I think it's sort of a good introductory, straightforward race back into um, racing. So yeah, I was pretty excited to be back this year. Um, I was actually last on the start grade because I was a late entry. I sort of didn't really finalize my program until the last minute and, and decided that, you know, four days after coming to Europe was, was a pretty big thing to race, but, um, but I thought I'd rock up anyway. And so last on the start grid, I have about 55 girls and it's a pretty short start straight. So I was, you know, sort of a fair way back, but by the end of the first lap, uh, out of five laps, I was up to 15th and um, sort of battled through the field and ended up coming 12th. So it was quite heavy the last two laps, but I expected that and, and the mud's a real slog. But um, I had awesome fun slipping and sliding down the descent. I really love uh, racing in the mud, not training in the mud, but I do love racing in the mud. Um, and yeah, it was sort of just nice to get out there and have a race again and, and sort of um, dust the cobwebs off and just be in Europe and, and enjoy the atmosphere and, and obviously the men raced after us and you know it was it was the the who's who pretty much of mountain biking you know your, your Nino Scherters, your Julian Absalons, your Yaroslav Kohavis, pretty much everybody was there and it's just amazing to sit there um, you know eating crepes and, and watching the guys race so that was really nice and sort of made me excited for the rest of the season so uh, really happy to, to tick the first one off the list um, just deciding once again what to do with the next couple of weeks. I'd like to probably race in Solothurn this weekend. We move into our apartment with Natalie Schneider. So that's going to be an awesome season ahead, I can tell, just from um, the company that I'll keep. Uh, and then I think we'll head up to Czech for the Czech Cup the week before the first World Cup of the season, which is in Nova Mesto, uh, which is probably my favourite course. So really looking to have a good result there. But um yeah, we'll spend a couple more days in Hubach, down to Offenburg for a couple of days, um, catch up with some friends and and um, let the good times roll. All right. Thank you. Bye.